Hey darlings, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kagem. Okay, well, the cat's out of the bag, you guys. There's a Chanel price increase coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you know. You know I know. The whole world knows. But we still need to talk about it. So I was on the Purse Vlogs uh, website um, yesterday, and then like after I had like posted my video, I was like responding to some of your comments. I was like, let me just see what's going on in you know Purse Blog world. And <laughs> there's a, there's like a new post there about the Chanel price increase coming. I won't read the whole thing. I just wanted to read a little tidbit here. So apparently there are some Purse Blog shoppers who have connects at Chanel, who are telling them that there's a price increase coming very soon in Q1 of 2021. So they're saying here that this is from the um, Purse Blog, Chanel will not confirm a price increase before it happens and sales associates are embargoed not to share this information um, with their clients. However, every year someone with a bit more knowledge is able to find out the information and spill the beans. So basically, um, the rumor of the Chanel price increase for 2021 is that there'll be a $400 increase on the classic flap and the boy bags, and they will be a $500 increase on the cocoa handle, um, which will affect the US. Obviously, Passblog is a US site. So for those of you in Britain, for those of you in France, Germany, Europe, um, and the Persian Gulf, the Middle East, um, some of those prices, like we're not going to know until it happens. But I do think in general, they like to kind of do this like currency parity where the currencies kind of match each other. So if there's a $500 increase on the cocoa handle, when it comes to pound sterling or dirhams or the, or, or the euro, you can kind of make an assumption of what kind of price increases that you can expect to see. Um, yeah, these price increases are coming. So it seems like it's gonna come in very early in 2021. Um, and they also say here, the rumor mill is saying that Chanel's spring summer 2021 collection should already have the price increase. That is going to be in Chanel boutiques in February or March. So the price increase is coming. It'll probably reflect in that collection or just after that collection. It makes sense for it to reflect in that collection because then it's like, like people just know, okay, fine, I'm buying something that's immediately more expensive. Um, the cocoa handle is interesting to me. Um, to see such a huge price increase, like four hundred five, excuse me, five hundred dollars on the cocoa handle, whereas four hundred dollars on the classic flap. That's just really interesting to me that they would increase the cocoa handle more than the classic flap. Um, I personally am partial to the Chanel nineteen. I'm partial to the trendy. Um, I like the flap as well, but I really like the Chanel nineteen and the trendy. So it'll be interesting to see what the price increases for those bags will be. Um, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Um, and just 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 to say as a disclaimer i don't want to hear any moaning guys okay i want to hear your opinions but let's let's stop with the moaning in every Chanel video there are always people like moaning whinging complaining about the price increases it is what it is at this point if you like chanel you know what you have to do you know you have to make a decision about chanel whether you're going to buy whether you're not going to buy um i like to see myself as a chanel realist i like the brand I appreciate it. I like certain pieces of it, but I'm not a diehard Chanel fan. So I think because I'm not a diehard fan, I can look at it in a more kind of pragmatic point of view, like what's worth the buy. The cocoa handle obviously is probably worth a buy. The price increases also kind of let you know what products that Chanel places value on and what products that probably will do well at resale. It looks like the Chanel, the cocoa handle is going to do well. It's interesting. I always was obsessed with boy bags, but I don't like them anymore now. So I don't really care what's going on with that price increase. So the bags at Chanel that I'm looking at at the moment, as I said, is the Chanel 19, um, the Chanel Trendy, and the medium classic flap with gold hardware. Those are the three Chanel bags that I'm interested in. I think I mentioned in the previous video, I also really like um, Chanel pouches and I also like their costume jewelry. I don't care what anyone says, I like their costume jewelry. I think they have some nice trendy, no pun intended, <laughs> pieces as well. But I'm not married to them. I think there are a lot of people on YouTube who are diehard Chanel fans. I know that this is very difficult and prefer to buy pre-loved. As a personal thing for me, I don't like to buy pre-loved. Um, I'd rather just buy it new so I know it's mine and it's new and I know it's genuine. That's just a personal thing. It's not like anything against anyone who does buy it. So I think of course this is going to continue to drive people um, to the pre-loved market. But I think what it's also going to do is it's going to definitely, if you're an eagle-eyed 
Chanel shopper, you need, and you're someone who maybe you do like reselling, the cocoa handle is obviously where the money is. If the cocoa handle like wasn't that successful or that popular, there is just no way that there would be a $500 increase on the cocoa handle. Um, but the, the fact that there is a $500 increase, that tells me for spring, summer 2021, we're going to see some really nice cocoa handles, maybe in some very vibrant colors. Um, that also tells me for next year, maybe for the cruise collection that will be, you know, coming up next towards the tail end of next year, we will see a lot more cocoa handles as well. Um, in terms of the classic flap, um, yeah, classic flap price goes up every year. It is what it is. These are the US prices. I'm sure the British ones and the European and the Middle East and Asian prices will be similar to this. Um, what does this mean? Like the fact that they're doing a price increase so soon into 2021. I think they also do price increases to pressure people to constantly buy. And there's they're interesting conversations at the moment about consumerism. I saw someone comment um, about a luxury YouTuber on Facebook and they were saying how they used to love luxury shopping but now they're minimalist and they like luxury brands where they don't want to be in this constant cycle of buying things. Um, I think that's fine if that's your thing. Um, I wouldn't say I'm a hoarder and I definitely am not a shopaholic even though I enjoy shopping and I love it. But I think when it comes to Chanel, Chanel want people who are going to stock their wardrobe full of Chanel products. Like Chanel are looking for the person who is going to wear those Chanel jumpsuits. I know people hated that jumpsuit. I loved it. That black one with the double CCs, interlocking CCs. I actually like a lot of Chanel's clothing. And I think sometimes Chanel has way better clothing than it does accessories. Fight me. I'm ready to be fought on this. So I think that Chanel are looking to just sell to people, not even necessarily just about money. They want to sell to people who are constantly shopping, constantly buying. Th th that's what they want to sell to, basically. So my advice for this price increase that is coming would be as follows. Maybe you can do it now. Everyone has a different financial situation, so I won't make a judgment on your situation. There's some people who are liquid enough to buy things straight away before they drop. Other people need to prepare a bit more and there's absolutely no shame in that. That's absolutely fine. So my suggestion would be just go to your bank, like today, tomorrow, open a bank account, tell them that you don't want a debit card, okay? And then start putting money aside for, before this price increase hits. This is assuming that obviously you already have savings, you have your investments, you have other things. So you're not just like buying luxury products, but without a plan. You know, that's really, really important. I want to put that out there, particularly with C19. It's really important now to have an emergency fund, to have savings and to make sure that your finances are lit and that things are going well for you. So I would just, instead of having that money coming out of your current account, so the account that you use for your day-to-day -day spending, just go to your bank, open an account. I know in my country I can do it, and I'm pretty sure in the UK you can. Tell them that you don't want a debit card, okay? And then just, um, you can even do it as a standing order from your account, and then just put money aside every month, every week. I actually, because I'm an entrepreneur, I suppose I'm, you know, cash flow is always like happening and stuff. I prefer every week because I feel like every week it feels like more of an achievement, whereas every month it can, sometimes you could be like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to put 2,000 pounds away for my holiday or for my Chanel Trendy, but I'd rather go blow it doing something else. And then just put your money away in that account. And then just before the price increase is about to hit, okay, like an iceberg from the freaking Titanic, you can then go withdraw the funds, load it then onto your the card that you use for spending, okay, and then go purchase your item. That is a good, a good way of buying luxury goods because then it does not interfere with your spending at the moment. I think the biggest mistake a lot of people make with luxury shopping is like using it from their funds that they use like right now. So what you should do is you should separate your luxury shopping from your general disposable income. The moment you do that, it's much easier to purchase these things that you like and it's much easier to just do them while being responsible as opposed to getting your salary or taking money from savings or being like, oh yeah, I'm saving for money and I have a debit card. I mean, saving for money. I'm saving for something I want to buy and I have a debit card. Let me just go buy something. Whereas if you don't have a debit card to that account, you can't just go and buy something. You're like, oh yeah, I have an account and I have like $4,000 in it for a bag that I want to buy or a Cartier bracelet I want to buy. You can't just go and spend it. So it kind of cuts down on impulse shopping. I think it's really important to have these kind of prudent um, financial approaches because I think these 
price increases stress people out and they um they make people want to spend money so what you need to do is just take a breath okay slow down and make a financial plan as to why you're going to buy for me personally i really like the chanel trendy i haven't seen a lot of news about it recently so i really hope it's not going to get discontinued so i really like the chanel trendy so i'm i'm jumping on the chanel boat before this price increase hits because it's obviously coming soon so i need to j pull the trigger at this point like i said i love the 19 and i also like the medium flap so i think it's very very important to make a decision at this point as to what um you're going to buy and also just understand that chanel are going to continue to increase prices until the end of time and it's up to you to make a decision if you want to continue to buy new i think it's actually worth buying new for the limited edition bags um i think that they i don't know i think it just it's worth buying new for those ones but maybe for people there are many people who are like oh chanel's policy is, is trash now blah 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 i mean that's neither here nor there i think that is like a generally accepted fact that chanel's policy isn't what it used to be um, but I think for me, I like the more stylish pieces from Chanel that feel very feminine. And those three bags that I mentioned, um, tick that for me. So I've been looking, when I saw this article, I was like, okay, well, <laughs> it's time to get on the Chanel boat now. I'd love to know what you guys think about this price increase. Um, do you think it's continuously excessive? It seems like it's like every four to five months now there's a price increase, maybe even every three months, quite frankly, because there was a rumor that there was one in like November as well, just before Christmas. Very curious to know what you guys think about this price increase. You know what to do. Subscribe to my channel, hit that bell, and I'll see you in my next video.